Well, here you going, everyone. Josh the Collector Guy. Hope you all had an awesome week yet again this week, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're able to go out, have a little bit of a hunt here and there. Maybe at the shops, at a flea market, or even a swap meet. Hope you're able to find some awesome cars for your collections, everyone. Hope you had an awesome week as well. Well, happy, first thing I should say, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there who might watch my vids or even or even kids watching the vids or whoever's watching the vid, make sure you say happy Father's Day to your dad. Today I know it's Father's Day here in Australia, it's probably not everywhere else in the world, but better better still just say happy Father's Day to your dad. I'm sure he'll understand, I'm sure he'll say, go along with you and say of course it is. But anyway, thought I'd start off with that. Got a few little different different bits and pieces to share with you this week. Of course, what does cars cars usually mean? Yes, Dad's bought some cars in for the vid this week, got them off eBay. The Jeff Gorvet, of course, is mine, but as you can see, I wonder what character Dad likes in the cars cars. I'll share them with you in a sec. Same with the mighty Dale Earnhardt Senior cars just here. Got them off the same seller as we did as some of these cars cars. Got a few little oddball things in the mix today as well. Got a few trading cards. Haven't had a lot of them for quite a while now. Went to a little collector's thing last week. I'll share them with you. Some Star Wars stuff now. I think that's that. W those two words have been unheard of in my vids. I do collect Star Wars stuff. I know. Well, Dad's um, got me into it when I was a kid, but I'll I'll probably jabber on about that near the end of the vid. Got some two cars here from the flea market. I'll get to them a little bit later. And of course, mighty old red line, a little bit of a beater, but she's still pretty cool. But I'll get to that at the end of the vid. First up, start off with the old cars, cars. Now, bought these off eBay, had to buy them off an American seller because we, we usually don't get a lot of it down here. And if we do, it's usually the same amount of stuff for about six months or so until they get new stuff. I know, I know I'm over-exaggerating, but still, it, it seems like that sometimes, and... Dad bought some Maters for the co for his collection, or our collection anyway. I know he loves his Maters. I know I love the Cars Cars as well. Dad seemed to have gotten me into that. And I just smashed the keyboard, but anyway. Dad got me into that pretty much. I know he's collected them for quite a while now, so let's just have a little look. Got the old Waiter Mater. That rhymes too. Very cool. Very nice indeed. The old Deluxe ones. Got a Dracula Mater as well. This one Dad was after for quite a while now as well. Very cool. Very nice indeed. These two are very old. He's picked these up ages ago, but I, I thought I'd share them in the vid with you as well. The old Kabuki Mater. I've probably just absolutely made a shambles of the name there but it's made her anyway that one's very cool as well and probably one of my favorites and also dad's one of dad's personal favorites is the taco truck made her very cool i love that one as well and but probably my favorite made her and i've got one actually in my collection the old funny car made her there near snot rod that that one's one of my fa well if not my favorite because of course i love the drag strip stuff and all that all the cars with big engines and that of course all the muscle cars and that so they were pretty cool dad got got them off ebay off the same seller and got some for my collection as well the old jeff gorvet old jeff gordon i think he came second today in the race i think they were at richmond i could be wrong always like collecting of course corvette stuff jeff gordon stuff and when it's cars cars related it's still pretty cool probably put him up here near Daryl Wild Trip, just there as well. So I had to make some space for him because I knew he was coming. So that was very cool. Got them off the, the cellar this week. They came in the post. Very Dad was bouncing off the walls when I told him we got that in the post. I couldn't keep him settled. And when I looked in the package, I wasn't settled either. When I looked at the Dale Earnhardt stuff, I was bouncing off the walls too. Got the old, his old Monte Carlo. Two, two card variations you could say really would like to buy another one to crack one of these open they, they're really well detailed they're done I believe by Spin Master it's pretty much looks like it's put together the same as a Hot Wheel 
We definitely wouldn't get these over here in Australia. The old mighty Wrangler car. Pretty sure he took the Wrangler car to, I think, five of his seven championships with the Wrangler colours. I, I could be wrong. Love the old Wrangler colours. But I think any colour Dale Earnhardt put on his car, or any car related, related to Dale Earnhardt's awesome. And the, the same as the Monte Carlo there as well. The old black GM good wrench colours. Love these colours as well. Very cool. As I said, I'd love to get another one to crack one of them open. Put on my Dale Earnhardt shelf behind me. Yes, I'll zoom up to it yet again. Just up there. So what can we get to next? We'll get to the trading cards. Probably get these out of the way. Went to a little um, trading card thing last week. Thought I'd check it out. I was hoping to find some NASCAR ones, but of course didn't find any. But... I found something anyway, what I do like. I do like the NBA and I do like the Phoenix Suns, old Steve Nash, old 3D card. It's probably not working much for you though, but one of, well, probably my favourite team in the NBA and probably one of my favourite players. He's gone to the Lakers now, then there's one with a bit of his game-worn jersey on there. Really cool. That one's limited, I think, to $2.99. And... Good to see the NFL started up as well. I'm a big fan of the NFL. It's good to watch it on Friday. Australian time seeing Green Bay unfortunately lose to Seattle, but I guess that's the way it is. Go Vikings. And what can we get to next? Well, we'll get to the Star Wars stuff. I'll, I got this from actually the trading card fair as well, the old Boba Fett button. I do like Star Wars. I remember when I was a kid, Dad pretty much got us into it. I remember watching the much older movies which is pretty much the last three in the series I remember watching them all the time and my favorite character is Boba Fett if you can't tell probably don't collect much Star Wars stuff these days but I know dad did get get us into that when we were kids really had a lot of fun with them too always remember playing with the action figures and that and all the ships and that and went to a little collect another collector's shop this probably around Brisbane and found um, old slave one Boba Fett's ship it's made by Kenner yeah, I thought I had to pick that up because Boba Fett is my favorite character as I just said like all the bad guys in Star Wars anyway so they're pre that's pretty cool it's a bit of its die cast but most of it is plastic but yeah I just thought I'd share that with you all I know it's probably not along the lines of die cast cars and that but I thought I'd throw something different in for the vid this week and also the training cards I know a lot of you probably do know I collect them but haven't had them in it in the vid for a while now either but we'll move on now get to the flea market stuff now I was off to the drag racing today yes went to the drag racing went to little General Motors event over at Willow Bank there had lots of fun saw some very tough Australian and American cars which was really good to see always love my GM stuff it had a really good day but before I went, I thought I'll pop into the to the old markets, and what do you know? The markets were good to me, and I found two things. Found an old, I think this, well, I'm pretty sure it is a Hot Wheel. It's got Mattel underneath. One of the old pullback cars from the from the 90s. Almost said 80s. Almost does have an 80s paint job. That looks pretty cool. Sort of reminds me of a BMW, but. I oh, could be wrong, it could be a Ford, could be a GM product, could be even something from the Chrysler guys. Very cool indeed, had to pick that up, it was very, very cheap. And got another one, another one of these Matchbox connectable cars. The old half-track, one of my favourite, well, military-looking vehicles, absolutely love it. Very cool, I don't think we've got any of these in the collection of the Matchbox connectables, but still, it was very cheap as well. Seem to be, they seem to be popping up everywhere now, so I was glad to find one of them. Good little trip to the flea market. And last but not least, we'll get to the little red line. Went to another collector's shop. There was two we, Dad and I went to yesterday. I pretty much was the only one who bought stuff. Dad was always looking and I think he was drooling at all the stuff we were looking at, but he didn't buy anything. He, he's pretty good. He, he's got better willpower than me. And we were looking in this little cardboard box at one of the shops, digging through, and Dad was going. He goes, oh, make sure you take it, have a little good look in that. And I thought, yeah, sure, there's probably nothing in here. Scraping around at the bottom, 
she was hiding down at the bottom. I thought, oh, I've got to get this. Got to get this. Went to the care and the guy goes, you can have it. And I thought that was very nice of him. I thought, she's at least worth something, but obviously it wasn't worth something to him. She's a bit of a beater. The door's blown off somehow. Something you don't see on Mercedes. Door's blowing off or door's not there. The old enamel blue from 1973. One of the more harder to find years of Hot Wheels. Or if not the hardest to find year of Hot Wheels. Or most expensive you could say. Very cool. I do like these old gullwing Mercedes Benz. It looks like there's a bit of concrete at the bottom here. A bit of an interesting story there I reckon. Very cool. And funnily enough the Spectraflame era one I found many vids back which is the same car as this, I actually found that at the same collectible shop, funnily enough, so I thought that was pretty cool. She'll go into the collection. You, you always got to love the beaters in, in the old red lines or the old black walls or in general anyway. They always have a story to tell. I know that this one's got a lot to tell, but unfortunately she don't talk. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this week's vid, everyone. A little bit of a few different bits and pieces here and there and even... Stuff from Dad, which is always good to see. Hope you enjoy it, everyone. Well, as I said at the start of the vid, Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Well, over this side of the world, I believe, in Australia and maybe New Zealand as well. Give your dad a big hug. Maybe a kiss if you want, but I think he might push you off you if you give him a kiss. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this week's vid, everyone. I don't know what I'm thinking. Don't listen to me, everyone. Just, just give your dad a Happy Father's Day hug. Well, anyway, hope you enjoyed, everyone. Thank you for watching. Always appreciate everyone tuning in each and every week. But with some of the things I said this week, probably not too many people might tune in next week, I don't think. Just kidding, anyway. Hope you enjoyed this week's vid, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, as always, everyone, happy hunting. Keep the hobby strong. See you later, everyone. Have an awesome week.